Guys, what's going on? What's cracking? What's popping? So back out in the garage, bumping music right now. Better turn that off. Don't want to get demonetized. More have money issues as it is. Uh, so yeah, so I'm out here working on the car. Uh, diff is out. Uh, I'm waiting on a few new parts, and I should be able to get down to Freed Engineering. They're going to be rebuilding it for me. So shout out to them, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting that all done. But what I'm going over here is what's left of my list. So I've had this whiteboard with my janky handwriting on it. I got Tony Super down here at the bottom now too. Uh, but for the MR2, there's not much left on it anymore. That it needs to get done in my eyes. So I need to get coilovers for it yet. It needs to get aligned. And I do have that top patch just need to install. So I literally have two things I need to do yet. And I'll be good to go with that. Again, that comes down to a money. Uh, Supra was having an overboost issue. That's still kind of standing. I need to mess with that. Car feels all over the place under throttle the rear end because it was a torsion it kind of felt like sometimes i was like eh, i'm hoping that goes away i'm hoping that goes away when this is all said and done uh one thing i can take off though alignment done clutch is not needed alignment's done clutch pedal that's just an ongoing issue and then my wife's artwork here new wheels blob boring girly slow her my old wheels she says rugged manly fast i tend to disagree but that's her opinion so <clears throat> So there's that. I mean, there's only a couple things left to do. I really need to finish up the MR2. Uh, another thing I was doing here is cleaning up these bolts here. Uh, they had grease all over them. So the driver's side, which was those ones, had grease all over them to be exact. I think the uh, axle's going bad, slinging grease out of them. Even though the boot's not ripped, it's forcing its way out another way. Not sure how or why, but it is. Um, and then these ones were perfectly fine. So I cleaned them up with brake cleaner and scrubbed them down. But uh, I've got some really good news for you guys. Something just showed up. So got two packages in the mail here today. The big one is my OS Geiken diff, guys. I was going to wait and I was all upset, but uh, I said YOLO, fuck it, and uh, went ahead and got the big boy. Um, from what I'm told, this is better than the TRD unit that they used to offer, which you can no longer buy. I'm gonna pull it out of the box here in a skinny minute. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go over the details and what makes this so special and why everyone is running these. Um, this is supposed to hold Pretty much whatever I could throw at it. You know, the ring gear and everything else will fail way before this thing ever will. So I'll get it out of the box here for you guys. First thing I wanna do is thank Joel Granis at Granis Racing. He's the one that hooked me up with this. So the big thing with this was, I was kind of freaking out. I, I, once I pulled it apart, I saw the LSD had blown up. I was like, okay, what do I need to do next here? I had a couple options. You know, I could try and find a used one. A lot of the used ones were just quite expensive as it was. And I'm like, do I go back to another Torsen, which I got very lucky on that this one didn't blow up and the fact that it didn't lock up on me. Um, kind of give you guys a little rundown. If the Torsen locks up on you, so that gear that broke off and fell down, thank goodness, would have got stuck in there. It would have locked one of the wheels. You then pivot on that wheel that locks the other wheel is still getting power, so it forces you either left or right into a wall, ditch, or whatever. A lot of guys get totaled out because of that. So I'm very fortunate that that didn't happen, so I was like, you know what, I wanna go away from this and go to a clutch pack style. Great. Started looking at those, and I realized, firstly, they are a lot of money. Uh, two ways are a lot cheaper. You can get those for around 900 bucks or so, but when you get to the one and a half way, they're listing for around 1500, whether it be OS Geiken, which is considered the Mac Natty, uh, Acusco, uh, ATS Carbon, etc. They're all quite expensive when you get quite expensive when you get into a one and a half way style um, LSD. So I was like, man, I can't find one. You know, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I've checked all these places, and a lot of places helped me out. Robert Del Angel helped try to find me one, but he was giving me like a minimum of four weeks, and I did not want to wait. So Joel Grant says, hey man, I've got two of these in stock. Let me, let me send you one out. Uh, he took good care of me and got it out here quick. I literally ordered it yesterday, which was Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, has it out to me by Wednesday. Thankfully, he only lives two hours away and got it to me so quick. Um, I'm very, very thankful, guys. I, I, I can't thank this guy enough. They makes a bunch of cool stuff. So not only does he stock and keep stuff like this, but he also makes the T56 Magnum kits, which I've talked about multiple times on this 
on this channel now and that's something I'd like to do in the future. Having this diff is why I wanted to have this. Uh, now I could go an 8.8 .8 or go even crazy to a nine inch, but this will suffice for what I need, but the transmission will be my next weak link. Uh, but he creates all those crazy T56 Magnum kits. He makes a power steering delete kit for the Supra and FDR 7 He makes kits that go in for the IS 300s, the FD, SC 300 with the T56 Magnum. Um, he's making all sorts of crazy new stuff. He makes an entire cage, so it replaces the whole entire rear subframe on the car and has his own tube frame style for the Mark IV Super. It, it's insane the kind of stuff he's making, guys. Uh, you can go check out the link up here or the link down below. Again, that's Granis Racing. Uh, big shout out to Joel Granis. I do appreciate it, man. But uh, let's go into a little detail about what makes this, you know, OS guy can so damn special. All right, without going too crazy in depth on this, um, the way this works is unlike a Torsen diff that looks like this, as you can see, there's gears in there that run against each other and allow both wheels to spin. The problem with this is there's a lag to it. What I mean by lag is one wheel could be pushing harder than the other wheel, which causes, if you've ever seen the car, sometimes if you're going straight down the road here, your ass end will go either left, or I'm sorry, either go right or left, depending on the way it's set up. Uh, mine tended to go dip to the right or dip to the passenger side of the car every time I would get on it. With a clutch style or something like this that's even across the board, and something like this can have up to I think it's 27 or 28 clutches or little clutch wheels on each side of the diff. Um, this allows for the diff to be even across the board. So as soon as you floor it, it's going to go dead straight. Instead of it kicking either uh, right or left, it's now going to go dead straight for you each and every time. This also keeps you consistent and you don't have to be, and it also keeps you from spinning the wheels. Um, the next thing with it is if this fails, you lose power to all the wheels. So instead of it now, you know, locking up one wheel, this will just fail altogether and you now have no power. <clears throat> I shouldn't say have no power, but you're no longer putting down the even power to both the wheels. Uh, technically, you're still able to move, but this fails and you're not doing it in the same manner. So technically, you can still move the car. This fails. You can still limp it home if need be, where with a Torsen like we saw there in my car, uh, you're not able to limp it home. That's it. It locks up. Uh, you're, you're, you're SOL. With this, at least you can still limp it home as the ring gear. As long as the ring gear and pinion are still fine, you're able to get it home. Uh, so that's kind of the advantage with all this. It's much stronger also. This is a cat or not a cast. This is a forged um, exterior of it or the casing itself is forged and it's supposed to hold an absurd amount of power. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to get it in. It's just hard. I mean, here's my hand. Give it for size and something like this costs $1,500. It's the technology in it. It's everything. It's just kind of like when you're buying expensive clutches for that car, you know, a tilt and clutch for that costs around $1,500, $1,550, $1,600 for that car for a V160. Uh, it gets quite pricey. So a top dollar LSD, this should literally last me forever. My understanding is too, the OS Geiken has no intervals. What I mean by that is, let me go over here. I don't know if it even has, it comes with a sheet and all these little stickers too. I don't know if it has oil change intervals and the fact that you need to pull this out and have it serviced. I think these are lifelong. What I mean by that is you just keep running it until she fails. Uh, that's my understanding. I could be wrong, guys. Please let me know now in the comments below if that's not the case. But my understanding is with the OS Geiken, um, there is no really service intervals. You just change the fluid. I think it's every 20,000 kilometers for these, um, and that's it. They also specify that you need to, I repeat, you need to, you need to, need to use OS Geiken fluid, which I believe is around $40 for the fluid. So not terrible, to be honest. Uh, I thought it'd be a lot more because that stuff can be absurd. Uh, so yeah, I think you're supposed to run it for 1500 kilometers dump it out and then not change it to the next 10 20 000 kilometers so should be good for quite some time so that's pretty much the gist of it here uh, but i got some other stuff that came in the box with the os guy can hear uh, they gave me a license plate a bunch of stickers they gave me the diff install and what the fluid i need to use Granny sent me some nice stickers along with it also this awesome button-up shirt or uh, collared shirt it's pretty nice i'm actually gonna probably wear it this weekend and then the last thing here is my center caps came in now, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, I really like these center caps. They are actual aluminum too. Now they have these plastic black backings that you can see can snap in or out. But this actual piece around, this is aluminum. I just don't know. Do I want to leave them exposed like this? Which look very, very nice, don't get me wrong. But see, it's black center wheel, which I like the black center. But then you pop that in and I would line it up. Do I put that in or does that look cheap? I just don't, what do you guys think? I need your opinion on this. I'm not snapping them in yet, can't drive it anyway, so I'm just gonna let them out for now. I thought about plastic dipping them black, which would protect them from getting marked up and uh, would keep the center of them black. So what do, you, what do you think, guys? Should I plastic dip these black? 
um, because I don't want to paint them just because these things are so expensive and they do get discontinued and once I paint them it's kind of devalues them. Uh, with a set of wheels you keep everything together and it keeps the value up a good bit, especially Japanese wheels like this. But that all being said guys, I need to get this diff and this LSD in the car. I got to take this over to Freed Engineering. Uh, they're going to try and inspect this diff. Uh, they're going to, I think it's called Magnaflexing, uh, where they actually, they're going to take it all apart, put the new diff in, and then they're also going to check the pinion and ring gear and Magnaflex it, which I guess is they check it for any cracks or stressing or anything to see if it's still good. I uh, spun it here. The ring gear that goes the whole way around seems to be okay. Um, and so does the pinion. It spins nice and freely. Now this will start crunching in between here, but the ring gear and the uh, pinion gear seems to be okay. So I'm, I'm hoping it is, and this diff will be good to go. We just need to put the LSD in it, and I should be making the sauce again. So all I need to do is throw it here in the car and uh, take it up to my friend Jeff. Bye, Raven. I'll be back. You gonna be good while I'm gone? Hmm? You gonna perch up here like a cat? Hmm? You're so fluffy. You're so damn fluffy. You know that? All right, Daddy, will be back. I've actually already racked up 20,000 miles on this thing here. See if it'll focus, uh, which it probably won't because it's being a bastard. Come on, baby, focus for me. Come on, don't be a bitch. So as you can see guys, I've racked up 20,000 miles on this thing already, which is uh, quite a lot because I've only had this car since December and it is now fucking June. That's how much I drive. Uh, I really need to get a job closer to home. All right guys, so I did put a poll up there, up on Instagram and posted on Facebook and uh, I would say about 90% of people are saying just put it in. Some people are saying okay with the plastic dipping, some were saying plastic dip the rim and just leave the face of it here. Um, I just think it, you're right. I just think it, I wouldn't be happy with Plasti Dip, what most people were saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, line it up with the work part, make sure it's lined up properly. Make sure we got it lined up there. Oh man, that bitch is tight, boy. Hold on, I might have to set this down. Them bad boys went in, but uh, man, they take a little bit of force to get them things in there. So that's a good thing. I mean, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're in there nice and tight. So yeah, they look nice. I'm uh. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, stand back here. Yeah, I think that does set the wheel off nicely. Kind of gives it a little bit more contrast. So let's go ahead and pop in all the other ones here. Like I said, it takes a little bit of force, which is a good thing. Uh, the one, see, I guess because these are metal, there's not much flex on them. But the plastic ones there, I mean, they literally just pop in and out, which I guess that's a good and bad thing maybe. But let's see if I could do it. This one here. I literally had to take both hands on that last one. Let's see if I can try doing it this way. Nope, I don't want to screw them up either. Okay, like I was saying there guys, so new wheels are ugly, so my wife says, and the old wheels are better. So she's out here now, and I've got the center caps on them. She's got Raven in her hands. Hi, BB. Say hi. Say hi, she's Raven. Like, she's like, humans, I'm just gonna lick she's mom. She's like, I'm just gonna look at my mommy. You're gonna lick mom, huh? She's Fur like ball. mommy's best so, friend. Babe, what do you think of the new center caps? Does it make the wheels now? Do you like the wheels now? Because you said, and I quote, if you get the center caps in, it'll most likely make it look better. You were like all happy about it, and you don't like it still, she doesn't like it. No, I don't like them. Why? Because. We'll just be I, honest. I wish the center caps were a little, like, dollar, like. Do you wish they were black too? Uh, maybe like a grayish, like. But that would make no sense, it wouldn't like match them then. Why would I do that? Yeah, they would match this. Oh, no, what guy? She's not wrong. It would match the actual work symbol then. She's not wrong. Cause you have to have like accents. You can't have all the same colors because it makes it pop then. Okay. You, you know? Well Raven, what do you think? She said, no, I want doggy bones. She's had so many treats. She just had funnel cake, cause we spoiled her. She had funnel cake, she had two dog bones. She had two dog bones. I gave her one when I got home. You just gave her oh, one, and no. she had funnel cake. She's not supposed to have. She only can have one. Well, a she day. never tells me no, do you, you little brat? Do you ever say no? Daddy, no, one a day. That's all. Whatever. But well, I guess that's that guy. She didn't like it, but you guys all said you wanted them, so I popped them in. I didn't spray them black. 
I like it. I think they look good, and I like the fact that they're built aluminum, so it should last quite some time. And these things were, as you saw there earlier, tough to get in, so they're probably a real pita to get out, so hopefully I don't have to take them out anytime soon. The only reason I'd have to really remove them is if I was replacing the tires, uh, because they have to actually stick that whatever thing down the center of it to uh, put new tires on. But yeah, very happy with the way it looks now. I was gonna say I like how the MR2 wheels look, because these are like a gray, like opaque, okay. and then the accent is the black because it makes it pop more because it just isn't vague. Vague? Yeah, like vague. Vague, is that the right word? Vague, nothing. I don't feel like that's the right word, honey. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe just comment down below. Maybe I'm the idiot here. Vague, I guess that makes sense. I do love these. I wish I wanted these wheels for this car. Uh, one, they're much cheaper. Number two is that they're five spokes. The only problem is they didn't have the right offset for the car. They run a wide enough tire, so I was kind of SOL on that one. Raven, are you licking mom's chest? Gross. Yeah, like, I don't know, I like these better. I'm more of a gray, I mean, I like black, but. You hated these wheels at first though, too. Well, I don't like them. I like the last ones. I hated I like, the last one. I like one. the old wheels. Because I love these wheels. I love how clean and so simple rugged. they are. I love, I'm looking for, I'm watching Rad Industries right now too, Rad Dan Drift. The, the old ones were so rugged and hip and like, I don't know. Hip? What are you, 110 hip? What is this, 1942? These are like so blah. They're just like sleek, I guess. What do you want to say, sleek? I love it, that's the whole point. Like the car itself is a sleek car. Like. No, I see a super as a, it's kind of sleek, but edgy. It, there's no fucking edges on this. Are you blind, woman? No, but it's not like, it's not like a uh, like sleek Corvette or something. Like, even though I do want a white, Corvette with black. Ryan will get me one someday. No, no, no. Yes. She deserves a white Supra. If a new oh, Supra comes out, a, we, a, a new white Supra would be great. A new white Supra would no, be fantastic. I would love to just have white Corvette. The new one with the red interior. Yeah. See me. Tell her guys down below. Corvette, yes. Supra, yes. Which one? Should Corvette or are we doing a Supra? Corvette or Supra? Which and one, guys? I have a doggy little um, seatbelt in there? No, all right, that's it, that's it, we're done. No, no, no. Raven, you get enough, baby. <laughs> all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one then. So, apparently my wife hates the center caps. I love them. We got the new diff, diff ready. It's down at Freed Engineering as we speak. Um, so it's getting all set up right now. Um, I'm pretty excited for all that. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, so a couple people were saying about like how this isn't a big deal, but it is. Uh, if I was playing list price for the LSD, it's $1,500 just for the LSD, nothing else. That doesn't include the shim kit and it's all, which is around three to $400. Um, that doesn't include other parts that it might need. It's easily over two grand if you were to pay like, you know, if you know, don't know any shops or don't know people, or et cetera, it's over $2,000 to do this. So this is not a cheap fix. That's why I was not kidding. Like originally I was like, the car's gonna sit for a while. I wanna make sure it's clear, like this isn't something small. This isn't like a Ford or a Chevy where replacing a Taurus and diff is like 300 bucks. Uh, on these cars are just stupid expensive. There's no real cheap options for us, unfortunately. If this would have been a 3.13 rear end out of a six speed and I was doing everything, hell, they're selling for four to $5,000 right now. Uh, I think there's a guy up on Facebook selling one for like 4,500 bucks. Not cheap, uh, but yeah, I just wanna make sure that was clear, guys, for all y'all. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys do. My wife is happy to help me out here today. She's beautiful, along with my little puppy. Um, so yeah, if you guys could do me a big favor, go down below, check out the Facebook and Instagram. Also, go check out the merch page. I got brand new stuff there on the website. I've got hats, t-shirts, keychains, you name it, I got it. Uh, and that's it, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace! Oh, wait. Peace. What do you think, Raven? Peace. <laughs> I'm a side from my soul.